Well, I really hope that everyone is extremely excited and stimulated by the fact that we are going to be very soon, very shortly, receiving three, not two, but three, count it three, fucking operators for Rainbow Six Siege. Two Chinese operators, which is very unique because we got two Japanese operators and now we're going to have two Chinese operators. And then we're going to have a, a Polish operator, which is very exciting for me because I have a Slavic background. So I guess that kind of works in a way. And I already have the other Slavic operators, which are the Spetsnaz, which, you know, are Russian. So I'm like, that's pretty fucking unique. I hope they do. I don't know, something else like maybe um, like czech republic i don't know i i don't even know if they have any special forces but anywho like it'd be very interesting to you know see how this will play out and i know there's been like so many different leaks and um a lot of like i don't know like i i, I don't know how you know how people say you know take every leak with a grain of salt because it's not like official from ubisoft you know i i, I believe that you know, for the most part, you know, a lot, a lot of these leaks are le like legitimately a lot of people don't realize the purpose of a leak. Um, and like, I think, you know, I use my brain. So I think ahead, you know, or I think how people think if I was in a, you know, I guess in a seat of someone in, you know, as an executive in Ubisoft, I'd be like, why not, you know, you know, talk to one guy, pay him a little extra, make sure he shuts the fuck up and then have him leak certain things as a you know undisclosed source you know and that could match the data mine uh, or the data mining that people do because people you know it's not that hard to really data mine especially if you have the game on pc it's extremely easy to data mine if you know what you're doing i've never done data mining i know how it's done but i don't like to do that kind of shit because it kind of spoils it in a way if you do it a month prior you're kind of like oh, well you're kind of spoiling it for yourself because then you kind of like it defeats the purpose of being kind of like wowed and surprised with it, like a teaser or a trailer from the actual production company or the stu or developing studio, you know. So that's at least how my mindset is on it. So, you know, we have two girls and one guy. Um, I'm gonna say this: I respect the fact that you know, uh, you know, I believe that women can actually serve in the military. I'm not gonna get like you know all, you know, fucking super conservative on that. Um, if women uh, want to do that as a thing, you know, want to go to the military and want to go out and risk their life and kill other people, go ahead. My, uh, by all means, enjoy yourself. Me personally, um, me as a man right now, like, I, I just don't have it in me to go out and physically kill somebody unless somebody actually would physically do something to me to harm me or my family. That's the way I think of it. Um, just you get to get that out, out, like, out there, I guess. Um, so I, I, I don't know, all, like, like I said, the whole thing about social justice and uh, political correctness in the gaming industry, um, the reason why um, Ubisoft and, you know, the developing studio, you know, for Rainbow Six Siege, you know, implements women into this game is, you know, because there are actually women that play this game. Ironically, there's actually, I think, a few YouTuber women or Twitch streamers that actually are women that play this game and it's it, it's not a bad thing it's a very unique thing it's it's good that there are you know different people and you know people of different walks of life and women and guys and everyone else in between because i don't want to offend anybody blah, you know so on but yeah it's very unique that they added a uh, female um uh, based uh, characters in a game, it, it's kind of like makes it makes it a little bit more interesting, especially the sound of you know how you know on every aspect falling or taking damage, you, you'll hear certain sounds, which is kind of unique and makes it a little bit different. Um, it might actually kind of fuck with someone's head, I guess, from from a distance. But you know, it's cool. So you know, we have one Hong Kong operator, you know, that's a woman, you know, and oh, and also we have two defenders, one attacker. So that's going to really kind of spice up the meta i guess in the game so uh i know that there's been uh you know other people have leaked names and confirmed things i'm like i don't really care for the names i don't like you know, they're just operators i'm int more interested in you know the weapons that they're actually going to use because in reality yeah the gadgets cool there's uh one apparently a gadget that's kind of like this uh, almost like smokes um grenade thing but it's um more of more so of a, like a poison ish thing that will slow attackers and kind of disorient them a little bit which is kind of useful it's 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 a defensive thing 
And of course, something about like I, like I actually kind of forgot. It's like it's almost like it doesn't really matter for me specifically. I don't care really about the gadgets because sometimes like I'll, I'll choose Jaeger, but I really don't even use his gadgets. I'll put him down usefully to help my team, but I really don't give a fuck about those gadgets. Same thing with most other gadgets. I really don't care. The only real gadget that I actually use on operators is like fuses, fuse charge, um, the welcome mat for um, fucking I forgot frost. Uh, see, like, I'm so bad with names, I guess. Um, you know, shit like that, or, I don't know, I think that's, oh, and Valkyrie's cameras, if I, I haven't played Valkyrie in a while, you know, but for the most part, I don't really use the gadgets, I, I, I more so pay attention to the weapons, because the weapons are the things that get you kills and get you points and all that kind of shit, so what I'm really, like, trying to focus on, the thing that I'm trying to figure out is what kind of weapons are they going to have, um, you know, what kind of, you know, are they going to have assault rifles or SMGs or shotguns or what kind of pistols and, you know, how will it benefit me, you know, or which operator would I be mostly interested in? Um, and like me knowing a little bit about, you know, specific special forces, um, uh, Grom has, um, very specific weapons. Um, you know, a lot of them are weapons that are, you know, simply put, they're kind of like an off-brand or their own version of the AK-47. Uh, they have different names, but they have, you know, a very close resemblance to the AK-47. Um, same caliber round and everything like that. So I'm really curious on what they're going to do with weapons, and I'm tr that, that's what I'm really, to me, that's the biggest focus, really, of this, is to figure out what kind of weapons they're going to be using, you know. Uh, but very soon uh, and shortly, we will be seeing, you know, the new operators, and, you know, then I'll make a video basically showing and depicting all operators, uh, most likely kind of like in a custom game to kind of show, uh, show off, um, you know, what their gadgets are and, you know, and then probably do terrorist hunt or something like that with, uh, with the operators uh, to kind of, you know, get a little glimpse of, you know, all the cool shit that they have, weapons, gadgets and all that kind of stuff. I will be making a video of that when the actual operators come out. Um, uh, I think everybody's pretty much, as of right now, really sick and tired of looking at fucking whatever his fucking name, Doc from fucking G.I.G.N. or whatever, with his fucking, uh, him holding his cheek, uh, saying, ha, ah. you know, I mean, I'm really, I think it's almost that perfect time to say goodbye, say our fucking goodbyes to Operation Fucking Health, I mean, huh. There's nothing interesting at all about Operation Health. I do appreciate the bug fixes and everything, but they could have done something more interesting as a wallpaper, like, I don't know, Doc, I don't know, climbing the Eiffel Tower, and then parachuting f off of it, and saying, "Wee, I can fly. I don't know, something a little bit more interesting. Him holding his cheek really doesn't appeal to me very much. You know, I, I, I prefer to see, uh, you know something interesting you know something more appealing when i log into the game but um i haven't played really rainbow six siege much or lately i've been playing call of duty remastered so yeah i i haven't been able to really play uh the game as much as i wish i could be but anywho i'm the mitten these are like my opinions really it's not really too too much information because i like to take every leak with a grain of salt i will make a very short video after this video which will be just me going to the Twitter page of Rainbow Six, um, and I will be showing you know all the teasers and leaks that are official from Ubisoft, so people have that general information and just do like a general short video of that, so that everybody can actually see the general information. Th this video is primarily me expressing my personal deep opinions about Operation Health and this new operation which has a really fucking weird name and it's like blood orchid or something like that which sounds like to me it just sounds like i don't know some guy like removed his own kidney and said now we're going to war okay that it's i don't know it's just like they have these weird names for these operations which is cool you know it's very different and unique but what the fuck blood orchid i mean that sounds like a blood organ you know like like someone just removed like, they, they were in battle, they were getting shot at, and they said, fuck it, I don't need this kidney, I'm going to die anyway. They removed their fucking kidney, and they're like, I'm going to charge into battle, screaming, ah, with my fucking kidney, and then, I don't know, throw it and chuck it at a fucking guy. I don't know. I mean, that, that's what the name sounds like. Not to insult it, it's very interesting, but, you know, we, we, we got to have really fucked up humor to 
kind of get us through, you know, or get us to the new operation from Operation Health. And Operation Health, you know, it has to do with health, so you might as well talk about, you know, removing of body parts, you know, in active combat. I think that's very interesting. That would be really fucking cool if there was somebody in, like, in some kind of big war that actually did that. Like, I don't need this kidney. Um, and then just, like, removes his kidney and... I don't know, charges into battle with it. Yeah, I don't know, fuck it. But anywho, I'm the Mitten. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Def if you did, definitely hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Comments are highly encouraged. Um, thank you for the 44 subscribers. I went from 43 to 44. Much appreciated. Um, and that's all I got to say. Hopefully you enjoyed the rest of your day. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Peace.